join me today as we do this fun painting called Buried in Treasure. Hi, welcome to another episode of The Rock and Roll Painter. My name is J.D. Wayne and I am The Rock and Roll Painter. Today we have a fun painting called Buried Treasure. You see I have a 16 by 20 canvas, got it covered with some uh, black gesso, just take a foam applicator, cover it with some black gesso, allow that to dry. Got a little sticker up here, it's going to be a smaller version of the supermoon that we did last show. And we've got a little pirate ship we're going to have down here. You see when all that's said and done. That's just a sticker. And that's just a sticker. And we'll, it helps keep the canvas, keeps those areas clean as we're painting around it. It's just a real effective technique. Okay. And like I say, I got a thin, even coat of a clear based medium. Allow the paint to blend and mix. So with that, let's get started. Okay. We're going to take a, uh, make sure my brushes are good and dry. We're going to take a two inch brush, go right into some phthalo blue. Get lots of color. I'm just going to get this canvas totally covered with some phthalo blue. It's a transparent color. It looks dark on here, but once we light it up, you will sure be able to see it. We want to get the color all the way over the canvas, all the way around that moon, all the way around the pirate ship. And a little bit of color down here where the water is going to be, but I don't want that to get too, too dark. Get some of that color. It's hard to see that you get it up everywhere. You just got to kind of work it around. Make sure you get some color. Say a little bit of that blue color down here where the water's going to be around my ship. I'm just kind of work out some of those brush strokes. Got to be careful you don't paint up underneath your moon. We'll keep that moon nice and clean. There we go. And like we've done before, I want to add a little bit of black to this. A little bit of black just to darken those corners up. Just helps pull the eye into the canvas. Okay, we've got a nice dark sky. Let's see if we can light that up a little bit now. All right, we're going to put that brush aside. We're going to take a one inch brush, go right in some titanium white. Like you saw last time, we're going to light that sky up. We'll start down here below the moon. Going to light that sky up. Just down here where the horizon is, down near the water, we're going to light it up and bring that up to the moon then. Once I start picking up a lot of that blue, I need to stop, wipe out some of that blue. Wipe out some of that blue without turning my hands all blue again. Pick up some more of the white, more of the titanium white. Looks like I got much paint there. Let's get some more of that paint. I think I picked up some of that yellow, so I'm going to set that brush aside. We'll just wipe it out. just don't want to give you that yellow in the sky. That'll sure turn this into a green sky. So we'll go back and get some more of that white. That's better. See, we didn't want a big yellow sky right there. That wouldn't have made any sense. We'll light this sky up. Like I say, you do little X's. It helps give some... Uh, different values in the sky. There's a little character to the sky instead of one flat color. I say we'll lose that color all the way up into the sky. Make sure we get that horizon nice and straight down here where the water's going to be. That looks good. Let's lift that sky up. Now we're going to take a, take a two inch brush. Make sure it's dry, no thinner in it. Just going to take out some of the brush strokes. You can see how I like how that, the different values in the sky. Gives a nice character to the sky. We want to lose that blue up into the night. Lose it up into the night sky. Make sure we get color all the way to the edge. And go across lightly, just kind of take out some of the brush strokes. We can see all that different stuff going on in the sky. This guy's going to have some nice character. Got a little bristle there, get that out of there. Gotta touch that up. All right, as you've seen me do in other shows, we're gonna create some stars. This is kind of a fun thing. Art should be fun. So this is kind of a fun step. So we take a fan brush. Take a nice loose fan brush. 
be nice if we had a clean fan brush. Good thing I touched that, found out it wasn't clean. Okay, we get a fan brush, go into a little bit of a little bit of a thinner, a little bit of a the white base and a little bit of the, your thick white. You want to get like a creamy, milky kind of consistency. A little bit more of the thick white. Kind of tap down to get off the excess. Got some big chunks there. We don't need big chunks in this guy. And then I'm just going to pull back on those bristles. Create some stars in the sky. Look how that, they just pop right on that dark sky up there. But I don't want them popping on the curtains in the background here. So try to be careful. Keep them in the into the painting that really really nice lights up the nice guy that's a nice effect i like doing that like i say painting let people think it's work sometimes you can have some fun and that's fun okay before we do anything with that super moon i'm gonna establish where the water line is so i'm gonna take that same that same white brush get a little bit of a dirty white a little bit of a dirty white and i'm gonna establish the the horizon it's lit up the water's lit up in the back of this back of this ocean if you ever go to the ocean you see it kind of lights up the whole horizon back there and then underneath that moon underneath that moon we'll have a lot of a lot of reflection reflection I'll try to talk here a lot of reflection of that moon off this water here it's gonna really be lit up right across here And there's a reason we want to light that up first, because we're going to have some color in this moon. I want them colors reflecting off this water. I want them reflecting off this water. So now I'm going to pull that super moon or pull that sticker off and establish. This is a smaller version of the super moon that we had last time, last class. And once again, I, I kind of put some gesso up there beforehand so it would be dry because we want to sit and watch paint dry. But I just kind of establish some of the, you know, the craters, the man on the moon, like say the old sailors used to call that. Maria, which is the Latin for sea. They used to think that was oceans on the moon. But it really gives a nice effect to moon that I just, I knew about where I wanted to just put the sticker on and just kind of covered that up. That way it's nice and dry when I get ready to paint. Okay, I'm going to take a uh, flat brush, get some of my clear base medium. Make sure we get a clean brush. Let that medium be clean. Okay, a clean dry brush. Go back into my clear medium. I'm going to get that moon, get that moon wet so our colors will blend around. You can see some of the yellow in there that was in the, in the brush. We're going to come back with some of that yellow. We'll get that moon all wet. But first, I want to come into some crimson. Come into some crimson. This is a blood moon, a super blood moon. Let's get some of that color up here. Oh, I like that, I like that crimson. Get all the way up to the edge. That super moon, super blood moon. I know the old sailors, they probably liked a super blood moon. The old pirates. You see, I got a pirate shirt on the day in honor of this painting. I got my pirate shirt. You want to get some of this crimson up here. Light this super blood moon up. And you see those, uh, craters and all that showing through. You get a thin color, a thin glaze. You can see all that stuff in the moon kind of showing through. Really get that super moon all the way down. Seems like an easel shaking a little bit. Get that super moon down. Now we come into some yellow. Let me clean that brush up a little bit. Now we come in a little bit of a medium and a little bit of a Indian yellow. Indian yellow. Light that super moon up. Light that super moon up. Well, I forgot to do why I had that crimson on my brush to get some of that color in the sky. But we're going to finish this up here, then we'll get some of that color in the sky. So I'm going to go back to some yellow and some, some plain white and just kind of get that edge, keep that yellow and blue from mixing there. It kind of gives a little brighter edge on that moon by doing it that way. Gotta take out some of my brush strokes that are in the moon. All that all kind of looks like craters and stuff. Now I have some of that color. I have some of that color. Let's get some of this crimson. Get some of that color down in the water. That crimson would be reflecting in this in this water. Get some of that crimson down here. We're gonna do some waves and stuff that 
makes sense of that water, but we just want some of that color reflecting in there. Now if we can, a little bit of yellow. Let's get some yellow, we'll have to mix a little bit of white with it. So it'll show up, because that yellow will be, it'll get ate up by the blue. So we'll get a little bit of yellow, a little bit of yellow. So we're gonna come through with some waves. It's gonna make sense of all that. Kind of soften those colors down. Now let's make some sense of this water. Let's make some sense of this water. Look at me getting all dirty again. Try to be a clean painter, but trying to rush, trying to get things done in time, I make a mess sometimes. All right, we're gonna go back to a, uh, to a small brush, has a little bit of blue. Let's get a little bit of blue and a little bit of white. We'll pull some of that water color in. Go right over that ship like it's not even there. Let it get darker, darker, darker down there. Pull some of that color in on this side. Let it get darker, darker, darker down there. Kind of pull those two, pull those colors, pull that reflection in those colors together. Now if I come in with just a little bit of a, we'll go with that big brush. A little bit of this dark color, some blue, some black maybe. Kind of pull in some, the illusion of some ripples, some waves, some movement in that water. Some back over here. That just helps give some movement to the water. Just get some of that dark, dark colors in there. Now we're gonna really make some sense out of that water. We're gonna take a big knife and some titanium white. Get across there, get a nice even roll. And I see the shore over here, even though water's flat, these waves are gonna be a little bit of an angle because of that perspective. So we've got a wave coming in that way. Maybe another wave, kind of breaking that way. Maybe one more little wave kind of crashing up here by the shore. Kind of pull that back. And I still have this knife. Let me get a blue, dirty kind of water. But you get a little bit of movement around that boat. The water's kind of breaking around that boat. And we'll put a little bit of this, a little bit of this highlight back through there just to show a little bit. A little bit of movement in that water, a little bit of stuff going on. Now we'll take a fan brush. That one's somewhat clean. We'll just pull some of that, pull some of that water back. Pull some of that water back. Like I say, I really like how that color of that moon is reflecting in the water. That really gives a nice, nice touch. Nice effect. So we lost a little bit of that, lost a little bit of that guy. So we'll just, just put him back and get some texture. Some, there, yeah, get some depth to that. Okay, now we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna start making us a pirate ship here. Let's make us a pirate ship. So we're gonna pull this, pull the sticker off. We just kept it clean under there where we want that ship to be. If I need to get a little bit of a little bit of my medium on it, so I need a nice clean brush. Nice clean, nice clean dry brush. Let's get some of that medium just to get that ship wet so the paint will move around a little bit. You see the ship's kind of turned just a little bit in the water. Get that ship wet, then we'll come in with just some black, just some straight black. Let's see right here, we probably got that coming out the front of the boat. There's the keel coming down. Have some boards going back to there. These boards back here might be picking up. You might even see just a little bit of the other side of the boat back there, just a, just a hint of it. But these boards back here, picking up a little bit of that light let me go through just a little bit of a gray color at first. Just so you see a little bit of light on that ship. And they would also have be picking up a little bit of that yellow. That yellow and white. That moon kind of reflects, they'd be picking up a little bit of that color off that boat. It might be a little thick. Let's go back a little bit more gray. Kind of tone that down just a little bit. And then on this side, you might see a little bit of reflective light, which is going to be a little more of a bluish kind of color on this side of the boat. And those boards would be running that way. A little bit of reflective light just to show where that keel is. 
Gonna establish those boards. Now we need to make some nice big mast. Although we might have a little bit of a, might have something on the back of that boat that all the ropes are tied to. There we go now. Now we get our lining brush, get a little bit of thinner and go right into my black. A nice thin value of this black. So the paint will flow. And let's say back here we got a nice big tall mast that the sails will be on. Here we got another mast that's not quite as tall. And maybe one more mast up front here. And now the way they make these boats operate, there were some sails. So we got a we got one there. Let's see, we got a bigger one here and a bigger one down here. And on this little guy's got a couple masts and a couple masts there. That's starting to look like a ship. Let's make that a little bit wider. Now those masts at night when they set anchor, they pull up all those sails. So you might see, you might see a little bit of the illusion of where those sails are pulled up against that. If these are the masts, I don't know what those cross beams are called, but you see a little bit of the little bit of these sails rolled up on those. Every one of them would have a little bit of it rolled up. It's just the illusion of something going on there. Like I say, this painting, I picture they're in a cove here, they've dropped anchor, and they're in burying the treasure somewhere. Now these old uh Boats, there was a lot of ropes going on. That's where the term, where you learn the ropes, that's from the old sailors, because with all, all these different masts and these different sails, they had to do a lot to really understand how to work the, to work the sails to make sense of it all, so there was a lot of ropes. So when they say learn the ropes, that's where that term came from. So we'll see if we can establish probably some ropes holding, holding that mast up, some ropes holding that one up. And there was a, one that come down here, kind of held that, Mast in place. Got some ropes on this guy. That rope got a little thick. That's okay. Some ropes there. Some ropes holding that up. Some ropes holding that down. And then down here, they always had like some little netting that they kind of climbed up things on. So we'll just give the illusion of some little bit of a netting here. Maybe a little bit of a netting right there. There, that's looking like an old pirate ship. Fix that highlight a little bit. Now we just need a little bit of highlight on there, so we'll clean that brush up. Clean that brush up. Get a little bit of a little bit of white going here. Say there might be some highlight across that where that holds the sails. Just a little bit of high. You might see some highlight on top of that boat. Some more of this, some more of a highlight color, some liquid white and some clear white or some thick white. Get things kind of lit up across those. Don't want to miss any of them. And you might see a little light on some of the ropes, not many. And of course, you'd see some light on the main mast. There, that's really looking like a pirate ship. One other thing, we got just enough time here. Let's come back with a little bit of black. A little bit of black, that's a big glob of black, we don't want that. Say we have a rock here in the water, just a rocky coastline, a little rocky shore. Got a little bit of a black here, a little bit of a rock, maybe a bigger rock there. Kind of set those in, get a little bit of white, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of crimson. You might have a little bit of, little bit of highlight on those rocks. Now I just want to set those rocks down into the water with just a little bit of white, a little bit of white, kind of just around the base of that rock, kind of just setting, kind of set that rock down in the water so it's just not sitting out there in the middle of nowhere. There, I really like how that's come together. You got your pirate ship, like I say they've set, they've dropped anchor, they're in, in there somewhere burying the treasure. Let's pull that back a little bit. And my, one of my favorite things to do in a painting Sign my name. I like how this one turned out. So we'll get, get some of that black back over here. J D W. There we go. Oh, one last thing we have. 
late at night around this pirate ship. Might be a couple of seagulls or crows. You put them up here with a show, you put them across that blue, you might not see it. There are a couple old birds flying across there. Now let me clean my hands up real quick. See if we can put this painting into a into a frame. Really like how that turned out. Buried treasure. Buried treasure. Okay. Let's take this out of here. Let's go see it in the frame. Okay. You know I like to see these in the frame. Or like to see what we've done. Drop it into the frame. Drop a speed clip on there. That'll hold it in place. There, buried treasure. Like I say, I see the pirates have dropped anchor. They're somewhere in there burying the treasure. So that's called buried treasure. Really like how that turned out. So if you'd like to know more about the wet on wet painting or like to take some classes, feel free to contact me at jdwayne at therockandrollpainter.com. Thanks for watching.